I am going to try my best to explain the United Kingdom or rather which pieces of lands make up the United Kingdom and what are the different types of relationship or the responsibility the UK have with each of these regions. The United Kingdom is made up of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. Each of these four regions are represented in the United Kingdom Parliament. Then there are 14 overseas territories across the globe, 10 of which are permanently inhabited by British nationals. All these territories have historic link to United Kingdom and these territories don't have a separate international representation. They also don't have a representation in the United Kingdom's parliament. Then the Crown Dependencies. These are the three island territories lies within the British Isles. Jersey and Guernsey make up the Channel Island and the third one is Isle of Man. The Crown Dependencies are not part of the United Kingdom. These are self-governing possession of the British Crown. The three crown dependencies have their own varying form of self-administration but on behalf of the king, United Kingdom's government take responsibility for certain areas such as defense and foreign affairs. The UK is located off the northwestern coast of continental mainland Europe. It comprises of England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. England is the biggest landmass covering the southern two-thirds of the island of Great Britain. England's population is 56 million, just England's. UK's capital and the largest city is London in England. Scotland sits on the northern third of the island of Great Britain. The population is 5 million. Largest city is Glasgow. The regional capital is Edinburgh. Wales is the third region in the island of Great Britain. It takes the western side of the central southern part of the island. Wales population is 3 million. Capital and the largest city is Cardiff. England, Scotland and Wales are located in the island of Great Britain. Northern Ireland is a region in the neighboring island of Ireland. Population is about 2 million. Capital and the largest city is Belfast. I will do a separate video about each of these regions and discuss their geography, demography, history and economy. I'll do the same for all the inhabited overseas territories as well as crown territories similar to what I have been doing for the other countries. So if you like to learn more about these countries, don't forget to subscribe. Now quickly look at the 14 overseas territories. The overseas territories have an estimated population of 270,000. Pickern is the least populated territory with the smallest population of about 50 people. While Cayman Island is the most populated territory with a population of about 79,000 people. These are the last remaining territories of the former British Empire. Permanently inhabited territories have self-governing while the UK government retain responsibility for defense and foreign relations. All 14 have a British monarch King Charles as the head of states and the people who are British citizens have the same British passport. Ascension, St. Helena and Tristan da Cunha are an island territory located in the South Atlantic Ocean and consists of island of St. Helena, Ascension Island and the archipelago of Tristan da Cunha. The population is about 5,300. The capital is Jamestown but the largest city is Half Tree Hollow. Nice name eh? Falkland Islands are an archipelago in the South Atlantic Ocean. Population is about 4,000. Capital and the largest city is Stanley. You may have heard of a Falkland War. Yep, this is the island. South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands are in the 
south atlantic ocean these are remote inhospitable collection of islands very small non permanent population reside in south georgia bermuda is made up of an archipelago of 181 islands in the north atlantic ocean the population is about 64000 capital and the largest city is hamilton Montserrat is located in the Caribbean Sea. It is part of the Leeward Islands. The population is just under 5000. The current capital is Plymouth, but they are building a port town called Little Bay as a future capital. British Virgin Islands is located in the Caribbean as well. It is part of the Leeward Island. The population is about 30000. Capital is Rhode Town. Angola is made up of two islands in the Caribbean Sea. It is part of the Leeward Island as well. The population is about 16,000. Capital and the largest city is the Valley. Cayman Islands are made up of three islands in the Caribbean Sea. Population is about 79,000. Capital and the largest city is Georgetown. Turks and Caicos are two groups of island in the Caribbean Sea. Population is about 45000 capital is the grand turk and the largest city is providentialis british indian ocean territory is situated in the indian ocean half way between tanzania and indonesia it is made up of seven atolls of the chagos archipelago with over 1000 individual islands many of them are very small the only inhabitants are British and United States military personnel and their contractors population varies but usually around 3000 the Pitcairn Island group are four volcanic island in the South Pacific Ocean with a population of about 50 people British Antarctic territory is a sector of Antarctica claimed by United Kingdom However, the claim has been suspended since the Antarctic Treaty came into force in 1961. Aquitaine and Decalia are two separate areas in the island of Cyprus. These areas include British military bases and came under British control in 1960. Approximately 18,000 people live in this area. About 11,000 of them are native Cypriots. and the rest of them are british military and their families gibraltar is located in the southern tip of the iberian peninsula population is about 34000 capital is west side it is the only uk's overseas territory that does not have us flag as part of its flag the three crown dependencies are not part of united kingdom but uk take responsibility for defense and foreign relationship on behalf of the k all of them are within the british isle as i mentioned before the first one is belwick of jersey it is a group of islands jersey is the only island inhabited population is about 103000 capital and the largest parish is st helier guernsey is comprised of four inhabited islands population is about 63000 capital and the largest city is st peter port isle of man is a small island between the northern ireland and the island of great britain population is about 84000 capital is douglas what is united kingdom is made up of now then in the next video i will go through each of these regions separately so england is going to be first then scotland wales and northern ireland then we will look after each of the territories so if you want to know more about these territories and the regions subscribe to my channel and you will know more about it thank you for watching and thank you for staying with me all this time thank you bye